be making a horror game in Godot for Halloween. The concept is you're in a maze and it's pitch black, but there are little speck lights on the walls that indicate where corridors are so you can get around. There's a mysterious monster that's hunting you that you have to escape. If it touches you, you die. You can't see it because it's pitch black, except when it blocks the lights, but you can't hear its footsteps. To escape, Press all the buttons, which you can locate by listening for a beeping sound that plays from them. And once you've pressed all of them, the elevator door will open and you can escape. If you want to play the game before seeing the behind the scenes part, which might ruin the horror for you, check a link in the description. To start, I made the maze walls. This is a simple block with an unlit shader and a light on each side. The light is just a quad with an unlit shader set to white and a ray cast that casts one and a half blocks. At the start of the game, each light will check if the raycast collides with anything, and if it does, will hide itself. Then I used a grid map to draw out the maze with these blocks. Next, I created a simple first-person character controller, WASD to move and mouse to turn left and right. To make the monster, I set an unlit black capsule mesh down so it can block the lights, and a raycast that points at the player constantly. If it touches, it calls the lose condition. And then I wrote a simple breadth first search algorithm to calculate the path to the player for the monster to move down for the pathfinding. Uh, next, I created the buttons using simple mesh shapes, added some code that handles what happens when it gets pressed, like changing the appearance and stopping the audio player, placed a block for the elevator door, and added a game state manager script that counts how many buttons have been pressed and removes the door when all of them have. Behind the door, I put an area collider that detects if the player is entered and will load the win condition. Finally, I added the win and lose levels that will show some text and let you restart the game. For sound effects, I hunted around on open game art, found a good beeping sound for the buttons, a footstep pack for the monster to play on loop, and got some screams and tearing bone breaking sounds that I put together to play for when you die, and then an elevator sound to play when the win level is loaded. And then that was all, the game's done could play test it. I found that it was actually pretty tense even though I made it so I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, source code is on github if you want to check it out yourself.